Welcome to the outer and inner measures of bounded set. Today we will talk about the outer measure, inner measure and their definitions, some properties. So let's start. Definition. The outer measure of a bounded set E is the greatest, greatest lower bound. It means infimum of all the measures of all bounded open sets containing the set E and denoted by M star E. Here star is over M. So M star E is equal to infimum of the all measures of G. And E is a subset of G. It's clear. And also it's clear that every bounded set E has outer measures and this measure is between zero and uh, positive infinity. Another definition. The inner measure M star E of a bounded set is the least upper bound of the measures of all closed set contained in the in. Uh, the least upper bound of measures means that the supremum, yes, and it's clear that the inner measure is equal to the supremum. And the measure of F here, F is a subset of E, and here E is a subset of G. Great. It's obvious that every bounded set E, every bounded set E has inner measure, has inner measure and it's between zero and positive infinity here we get this theorem if if g is a bounded open set then the inner measure is equal to the outer measure and it's equal to the measure of G. We get theorem 2. If F is bounded closed set, then the outer measure is equal to inner measure and it's equal to measure of F. So, if uh, two sets are bounded open or bounded closed, then the inner measure and outer measures are equal to the measure of our given set. And from the above theorems, these two theorems, it's clear that we get the theorem 3. For any bounded set, it doesn't mean it, if it's uh, bounded open or bounded closed or neither open nor closed, the inner measure is also less or equal to uh, the outer measure. Let's prove this theorem. For any closed set if for any closed set if contained in E and for any open bounded set G containing E it means that if F is contained in E, it means that F is a subset of E, and if E, e itself is a subset of G, so here we get F is a subset of G, then 
the measure of f is always less than or equal to the measure of g. We proved it in our previous lesson. And the supremum of the measure of f is always less than or equal to the measure of g or the inner measure of e is always less than or equal to the measure of g and it's true for every open every open bounded set G containing E so the inner measure of E is always less than or equal to the infimum of the measure of G or here uh, or the inner measure of E is always less than or equal to the outer measure of E. So we proved it here uh, in the subset of G. Here e, e is a subset of G and another theorem. Theorem 4. Let A and B be the bounded sets. If A is a subset of B, then the inner measure of A is always less than or equal to the inner measure of B. And it's clear that the outer measure of a itself is always less than or equal to the outer measure of B. Here we get the fifth theorem, the theorem 5. If a bounded set E, if a bounded set E is union of Finite or countable numbers. Finite or countable numbers of sets E, K, it means that E is e equal to the union of E K then the outer measure of E is always less than or equal to the sum of the outer measures of E K's and this is our sixth theorem uh, with respect to theorem 5 we get that if a bounded set E is union of finite or countable number of pairwise disjoint sets E, K, what does it mean? It means that E is a union of E, K's and E, K's are disjoint. Disjoint means that their intersection is um, valid set empty set okay they have no common uh, elements so then our inner measure of e is always greater or equal to the sum of inner measures of e k and our final theorem about the inner and outer measures. Consider that E is 
is bounded z and delta is any interval containing e then the outer measure of e plus the inner measure of e with respect to delta is equal to the measure of delta 